to my channel thank you for coming back if you are a returning subscriber i appreciate you much 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 but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell it is down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will always enjoy every content that i upload so guys today's video is going to be a story time <laughs> yes guys we have a very beautiful special unique online dating success story of a Ghanaian girl a very beautiful girl 21 years of age who found love on online dating apps with a French guy <laughs> so you guys who have been saying oh I don't think I'll date a French guy oh I'm not so sure about French guys today's video is the one guys maybe you might change the way you think about French guys <laughs> So friends, you all know that I am always active on Instagram, ready to give you advice, guidances on online dating apps and on relationships in general. So you find that I am chatting with a lady and she's telling me, Bella, I am 21 years of age or I am 22 or I am 23, but I think I am too young to be on online dating apps men don't want to chat with me some of them call me a baby <laughs> what do you think bella should i leave the dating apps or i should keep on trying because i feel like giving up others tell you bella i have a very small body and that makes men to run away because they see me small they see me just like a baby so what i want to tell you never listen to the words of the losers and remove that fear voice that is telling you you have a small body that is why men don't want to chat with you or you are still young you can't find someone you need to get a little bit older like in your 30s and join online dating apps guys please please don't let the words of the losers damage the way you think destroy you as a person <laughs> turn you to a negative person i always chat with different ladies with different age so when i chat with a lady in her 40s she tells me bella i think white men prefer more young ladies in their 20s <laughs> Isn't that confusing? A young one is telling you, I am very young, they don't want to choose me. Then someone in her 40s or in her 50s or in her 30s, she tells you, no Bella, they don't want me because they want the young ones. And the young ones, they want the old ones. <laughs> Guys, this is because of the words of the losers. So they have entered into your mind and they're turning you to a negative person. Remove those words of the losers and believe that you can find a man who will love you for who you are a man who will marry you and you create a family okay because you can find a man no matter where you're from whether you're from ghana whether you're from ivory coast whether you're from nigeria uganda wherever part of the world you are if you are on online dating app searching for love when the right man comes will follow you even if it is deep in the village <laughs> where you have to leave cars very far and walk by foot he will follow you trust me <laughs> it also doesn't matter the way you look whether your size is small your size medium or size large you still have a chance to find a man who will love you for who you are so whenever you are on online dating apps always always remind yourself this don't let the words of the losers stop you from finding your happiness so dear friends like i said our today's online dating success love story will be about a Ghanaian lady 21 years of age when she found love with a french guy by the name of fabian so before we go to how they found each other let's know her love life her past love relationship experience was she dating a Ghanaian guy and if yes how did it go how were things <laughs> yeah so guys can we really expect a good 
past relationship experience? No. <laughs> Charlotte tells us that her past love relationship experience was very, very bad. It was a messy one. She couldn't find a guy to love her for who she is. Every man that came into her life came to break her heart. It could end in two tears, which made her decide to remain single. So guys, let's go to how Charlotte came to find out about online dating apps. So Charlotte was single for quite some time and she tells us that day she was watching a series and in that series there was a couple fighting the guy was cheating on the lady and they mentioned that they met on a dating app but they did not say it's a dating app only mentioned the name of the app guys i'm going to be sharing with you the name of the app where charlotte found the one before i end this video so after hearing the name of the app she was like i wonder what is that <laughs> so she decided to go on google wrote the name of that dating app came to find out it was a dating app she decided to download it that same same day remember she is single and she saw that that was a great opportunity to meet new people try her chances to find the one so friends after downloading that dating app she started her online dating journey so i asked her a question were you looking for a white guy or a black man she told me bella because i was new to online dating world I was not even considering getting married to a white man. I never imagined myself getting married to a white man. So for me, I was going for any man of any color. <laughs> but later on, I changed my mind and decided that I am going to only be chatting with white guys. So guys, we all know that when you download an app, a dating app, you have to start chatting with guys. <laughs> I know you want to ask me, Bella, did she pay? No, she wasn't paying for the dating app and all the apps that she tried that I'm going to be sharing, she did not pay a coin, yes. So I am still insisting, guys, don't pay for a dating app if a guy is serious is going to pay i've seen after talking about this you guys come again and ask me how to pay for the dating app can you please try the free version first and see how it goes because most of the success stories i've shared here on my channel all ladies found love for free <laughs> yes <laughs> Only one lady that I shared, she paid for the dating app and found the one. But 99% of the success stories that I shared in this channel, and I have others to come, lots of success stories to share with you, all ladies never pay. But this shows you that you can still find true love on online dating apps without spending even a coin so guys that 2019 she started chatting with men from all over the world she came across men who are players we all know them they ask for nude photos she came across guys who are like no i don't want a lady from ghana ghanaian ladies don't write to me <laughs> I can't be your sugar daddy. I am not rich. <laughs> she found all of those until it was 2020. Received a message from an American guy. This guy was really, really good. They chatted. Everything went very well. And they decided to meet. So they planned on how to meet. This guy went to Ghana to meet her. And when they met, things did not go as they planned <laughs> there was no connection so it did not work she got disappointed because you know guys when you're on online dating apps you're chatting with a guy and maybe this guy tells you i am coming to see you most ladies at that point they start saying oh my fiance is coming they start creating castles in their heads <laughs> 
with this guy so if the guy comes and things don't go as you planned you get disappointed so that's what happened with charlotte after this american guy coming and then things did not work out but you know what she never gave up she kept on with her journey of on online dating apps and she tried sites like afro introduction bumble and that dating app that she found the one i will share it guys just be patient with me listen to the story and get to learn of how things goes this will help you very very much if you find a guy or you have found a white guy you are still chatting in a long distance relationship by listening to these stories we learn lots of things that helps us in our relationship and in the whole journey of online dating apps but guys before i continue i am very happy that charlotte decided to go on keep searching for the right guy and not let her story not to work with an american guy then decide that i am done with online dating apps all white men are liars all white men will tell you i love you so much i want to see you and when they come things don't go well no so i am advising you to i know when you are on online dating apps oh my god i don't know even where to start <laughs> you get heartbreaks 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 especially if you don't have enough experience on online dating apps and you reach at a point you're like me with online dating apps i will never ever go back there again due to the experience that i have had <laughs> no guys it's not over yet as long as you are still alive as long as you still believe in love never give up because of the bad experience that you got on online dating apps so let's continue with our today's story so she kept on searching but also kept on living her life she tells us that it reached a point whereby she was very very convinced that you can't find a genuine guy on online dating apps she was there but she wasn't spending lots of her time on that dating app because she was like i don't know but never deleted her online dating profile it stayed there she kept on receiving messages so whenever she could receive a new message could log in then chat with a guy see how it goes so guys on 22nd november last year 2021 remember she joined when 2019 2020 nothing till 2021 that was the special day guys and now the story starts becoming very very exciting <laughs> so guys on 22nd november 2021 she received a message from a french guy <laughs> and this message was like kum, kum, kum. <laughs> i'll write it here so that you can see it so when she saw that message was like what language is this <laughs> i don't understand anything <laughs> did not reply that day but the following day which was 23rd decided to reply <laughs> reply like hola and then logged off <laughs> till six days later decided to come back and she was like no I have to go to this guy's profile try to translate and see if he is serious what do we learn from here guys the same things that i have been advising you when you receive a guy's message go through his profile because when you do that guys it will tell you a lot about the guy so charlotte tells us that after translating the guy's profile she came to find out that this guy was serious due to the words he had written in his bio so this guy's bio was like i know you want to know guys <laughs> that is why i'm going to tell you how is it like so that you can compare when you come across such kind of bio then you pay attention <laughs> so about the guy's bio he was like i'm looking for a serious relationship i'm a very sensitive 
person if you are not please don't accept me do not reply to me merci <laughs> that's it so when she saw that she was like hmm this guy might be a serious guy and from there so guys after knowing that they started chatting and she tells us that that day they chatted till midnight she was feeling very happy wanting to keep on chatting with this guy they were both feeling very happy because they clicked <laughs> and fabienne was very straightforward knew what he wanted because that same same day exchanged his Facebook handle with Charlotte so that they can be communicating on Facebook more because Charlotte wasn't so active on that dating app. So what do we learn from here guys? When true love comes, you will feel it. Trust me. That is why Charlotte was feeling very, very happy while chatting with this French guy, Fabienne. <laughs> so guys, they kept on communicating every day on Facebook and later on decided to exchange WhatsApp numbers so they could share with each other their daily activities, which is very, very important. I've been telling you, if you're dating a guy, then you should hear from him every day. A guy who loves you will never sleep without hearing your voice, will never sleep without knowing how you are doing. So after one month of dating, talking every day, Fabienne decided to change his relationship status on Facebook from being single to in a relationship. Taz tagged her name, the name of the girlfriend, Charlotte. <laughs> so when Charlotte saw that, she couldn't believe it. <laughs> she decided to take the phone of the friend, log in on Facebook and see if that status is public or private. <laughs> Wanted to confirm, I've been telling you, no matter what a guy does, you need to always confirm. <laughs> So Charlotte wanted to confirm and to her surprise, yes, the status was public. Oh my God, I've been telling you, if a guy is genuine, if he doesn't have anything to hide, everything will be straight. So guys, this action of Fabienne changing his relationship status on Facebook made Charlotte start thinking that Fabienne is the one. Yes, I've been telling you, if a guy does something special you should always appreciate and please try to think more positive way not that because you have been in very very bad relationship experience in the past and when this guy does something good and then you're like no i don't care all men are like that no guys you should always think positively ladies that i've been chatting with on instagram i always tell you go with the flow if a guy is coming with positive energy show him same same positive energy and that way a guy won't see that you are less interested in him or you don't give a damn shit about him <laughs> So friends, they kept on knowing each other and their relationship was moving forward, not stagnant. The next step, guys, that Fabienne took, the introduction. <laughs> I've been telling you, this step is so, so important. If you're chatting with a guy on online dating apps, my dear sister, this guy should introduce you to his family. He should introduce you to his friends because when a guy introduces you to the friends that means he is so proud of you he is so proud to be with you so don't just take it so lightly and be like there is no need to meet his friends that i don't even know that i don't know if i will ever meet them no it is really really important so fabienne introduced charlotte to his mother, his father, his brother, his sisters, the cousins, <laughs> the sons of the sisters, <laughs> uncles, colleagues, friends. Oh my God. <laughs> this is really, really good. I'm telling you guys, cause I've been hearing lots, lots of horror stories. <laughs> 
I'm saying horror because a guy tells you a word and it's really like someone is stabbing on your heart. Do you know that? Because you're dating a guy, you're putting everything, you're putting energy into a relationship. You have even introduced this guy to everyone close to you. But when you tell him, can you please introduce me to your parents? The guy is like, no, we need to wait. No, I cannot introduce you now. You know my feelings, I'm not yet uh, that clear. But don't worry, everything will be fine. Give me some more time. It's like stabbing on your heart. It hurts your feelings. I know how it feels, guys. <laughs> so a guy should introduce you. No excuses, guys. Don't take his excuses to why he's not introducing you to the parents, to the friends. Don't take the nonsense. <laughs> So guys, after Fabien introducing Charlotte to his friends, family, everyone close to him, Charlotte did the same, which is very, very good. Same, same thing that I'm telling you, go with the flow. I remember there is one friend of mine, she is on online dating app. She was chatting with a guy, this guy was from Norway. So the guy was like, send me the photos of you at the restaurant. Send me the photos of this. Send me the photos of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I told my friend if this guy is asking you photos 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 of this photos of that ask him to send me photos of this photos of that you know <laughs> we have to go this way you know not this way no this way if you want to see my parents I have to see yours too yes <laughs> If you want to see my friends' photos or my family photos, you have to first send me your family photos. <laughs> that is how it goes, guys. Here comes the big question that is so, so important to every woman that is on online dating apps. Would want to know, was Fabienne spoiling Charlotte when they were chatting? <laughs> Because you know what, guys, it's not that women like money or we are so materialistic, but guys have been saying that sex talks, they spice up the relationship. So when a guy takes care of you, when a guy, you know, shows some responsibility, when a guy spoils you, it spices up the relationship. This is the truth. <laughs> And you know, I've been honest with you. You imagine chatting with a guy from January to December and this guy has never spoiled you. This guy has never sent you any gift. <laughs> it is only words, I love you, I love you, I love you. It becomes boring. This is the truth, guys. <laughs> but guys, disclaimer, I'm not telling you to ask for things. A guy himself should figure out that I need to spoil my girl. I need to take care of her. That's a responsible guy. So was Fabienne spoiling Charlotte? The answer is, she tells us they chatted for five good months and in those five good months, she never asked for anything. She's so, so good and I'm so proud of you, girl. Because we all know that men on online dating apps, when they see ladies from Ghana, they're like, no, you are a scammer. Don't even write to me. I want to respond. <laughs> and to make matters worse, you know you're from Ghana or you're from Nigeria or you're from Uganda. You chat with a guy after two days, you are very, very sick of malaria. <laughs> You want money to pay for the bills in the hospital. <laughs> what do you think this guy will think? He will say, oh yes, that is why I've seen most men on the app saying that ladies from Ghana are scammers or ladies from Uganda are scammers. So you will give him that mindset. Yes. So I am requesting you, I am begging you, please dear beautiful ladies, Stop asking men money on online dating apps. <laughs> I know you're like, so Bella, we can ask in real life. <laughs> no, even in real life, don't ask men money. <laughs> Please just be responsible. If he spoils you, that is good. It will spice up, lighten up your relationship. <laughs> so guys, our beautiful Charlotte 
never asked money from Fabienne, but after five months of them chatting, dating, Fabienne proposed. He was like, please, I need to know your daily spend. Tell me the amount cause I would really like to give a hand of help. Charlotte was like, no, 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 don't worry. I am okay. You know, us ladies. <laughs> but in the end the guy insisted and she accepted started giving her monthly allowances and then changed to weekly allowances till now such a responsible man so with this guys i've told you that when you chat with a guy don't directly start complaining about your problems don't do that what you are supposed to do is to show him your real life the real you even Charlotte advises you this, that don't start sending beautiful photos, your snap life, the life that is not real, that is not your life. No, you should show him the real life, the real you. This will help a guy to know the kind of life you are living. So you don't need even to ask him money. If he is a responsible guy and he has seen maybe the way you live and he thinks maybe you need you know just a boost you know <laughs> a hand of help he's gonna give you a hand of help but if you start showing like you know this luxurious life you go places you wear you know these fake brands <laughs> I'm not judging you guys, but you give a very bad impression to these men. They think, oh, so this is the guy that puts on Chanel, dresses in Louis Vuitton outfits. I can't handle her. <laughs> oh, she's okay. She doesn't need a hand of help. So dear beautiful ladies, always be you. Show the guy your real life. A responsible guy will definitely light up that relationship. <laughs> by spoiling you a little bit <laughs> so we can't talk of being spoiled without talking about the goodies <laughs> was fabienne asking charlotte to send him the photo of the goodies send him you know the photo of her boobs <laughs> and what her mama gave her <laughs> no guys he wasn't doing that she tells us he used to talk of normal things tell each other romantic words whenever they talk you know i love you i miss you i wish to kiss you i wish to hug you such kind of words but no nude photos or any sex talk so those who have been telling you send me the photos of your boobs i want to see you naked then i'm going to be sending you this i'll send you that i'll send you money don't accept because the truth is they will take those photos they will see your goodies <laughs> and after they have sent you something like 50 dollars or a hundred dollars they're going to block you what have you gained nothing you have put yourself very down and you have treated yourself with no dignity that's the truth so friends as charlotte was sharing her story i also asked her what are those funny moments that she remembers <laughs> while they were in that long distance relationship before meeting so she told me or she tells us that they used to go to the farm together <laughs> when charlotte goes to the farm goes together with fabienne even during christmas they spent christmas together when they were killing their christmas chicken <laughs> he was there watching even the goat for christmas he was there when she danced he could dance too oh my god this is really really beautiful you who is still searching for the one and sometimes you wonder how do you do things how is it like so guys that is how it's like when you find love he also added that even fabienne during christmas when he was with his family called her to greet the family they talked and spent christmas together with fabienne's family she says 
French people are very nice, nice people. They always talk with her very good. They show that excitement that they can't wait to meet her. And guys, Fabienne calling Charlotte on Christmas by all his family is there. That means a lot. They consider Charlotte as a family member. Why am I saying this? It's because it's the European culture. I've been with my husband for five years now and every Christmas, you know, the city where we live is not the city where my husband was born. He comes from the southern part of Italy. It's an island, a very beautiful island. It's always hot. <laughs> Things are happening every day. <laughs> good good vibes if you compare with where we live but we are here because he works surrounded by mountains i don't know if you've watched my past video i showed you this beautiful city where we stay so most of his relatives are in sicily in that island <laughs> he is a city boy <laughs> he has got only one sister here in the city where we live where i am making this video so during christmas i told you christmas is the family time so within these five years that i've been with my husband there is no christmas that has passed without them calling their relatives in Sicily. On that Christmas day, after you have eaten, you're there relaxing, maybe eating panettone, that's a Christmas bread, traditional Christmas bread, relaxing, playing some cards, you must call your relatives. And the relatives in Sicily too, you find that they are gathered together, so you make like a group call. You talk what you have done that day, what you have eaten, talk about how you have exchanged the gifts, and all that you must reunite that day on a video call and it is something that i've been seeing so these white men that you have been dating guys and then christmas comes the guy disappears you know that he has been deceiving you the guy is married never accept i'm telling you this so that you can understand and know how it's important for your boyfriend to be available during Christmas. Talk with you, show you his family. Because if you guys are going to get married, that means you become one of his family. So guys, apart from Christmas, I've told you that they always share their daily activities and Fabienne, before doing anything, always informs her before. If they have like these family dinners, he will inform her. If he has go to work dinners, he will inform her before the day comes. And when that day comes, Fabienne will call. If he is with the family, he will call and show the family, I am with the family, they are here. And he could always call when they are in a family camping. Talk with her, exchange some few words with the family members. And also if he is at the work dinners, he will do the same. If he is out with friends for dinners, he will also video call. But if he can't video call, he will send the photos. I told you guys, when a guy is genuine, you don't have to tell him confirm. You don't have to tell him, send me the photos. You don't have to tell him, send me the videos. No, he will do it without being asked. So guys, the relationship continued very, very well. Everything good, good, good. Talked of different, different things about life. Also, they used to play numerous online games together. So we get a new tip here. You have been asking me, Bella, I don't have anything to talk with this guy. What can we talk about? What can we do, you know, to keep the relationship moving? play online games <laughs> even if you don't know he's gonna teach you there is always that first time of trying something or of learning something so guys we see everything is going super good but it is good for us to know if they came across any challenges on online dating apps yes guys they faced some challenges 
<laughs> you know, these people from two different continents, actually, they don't speak the same language. Fabienne speaks French and a little bit of English. <laughs> Charlotte speaks English. So language barrier was a very, very big problem. They could misunderstood each other, fight. It tells us they almost broke up twice. <laughs> Yeah, but I think sometimes even the devil is at work. Like what she told me about this. At the beginning of this year, they filed for visa application six times and they never achieved <laughs> to send it to the embassy. I told her why. She was like, Fabienne was certain. Do you see the devil's work? But what Charlotte did after seeing that they are starting the visa application then in the end they cancel everything start again cancel everything start again six times she was like no something must be wrong somewhere this guy can't be this good and then when it comes to visa application he seems not to be sure so she decided to pray to god put her relationship in the hands of God and we know that God is able. So September this year, 2022, Fabienne was able to go to Ghana, meet Charlotte for that first time. So guys, Charlotte tells us that she was at the airport waiting for him and when he landed, <laughs> she was the first one to see him. She was super happy. She tells us it was magical and it was the best moment in her life. She ran, jumped and hugged him so tightly, stayed. She didn't care she was in public, you know, people looking at her. <laughs> that is love when you fall in love you don't see anyone around <laughs> it's the two of you <laughs> love is beautiful so they were very very happy to see each other and then went to the hotel where fabienne had booked after reaching to the hotel fabienne brought lots lots of gifts and also the gifts of his mother to charlotte oh my god this is so so beautiful she was very very happy and grateful so guys i know right now your ears are like this <laughs> you can't wait to hear if she gave her goodies at first <laughs> when they met <laughs> the answer is she did not share her goodies for the first time no they kissed they hugged you know cuddled and everything but goodies no no matter how you wish she could have given her goodies no she did not <laughs> and that really made me ask her this question did you guys agree that when he comes you won't share your goodies <laughs> we did not agree on something like that because sometimes our emotions can betray us <laughs> and she's very very right i've been advising you that there is no need to tell a guy that let's wait till marriage or write it in your profile that i am not ready to share my goodies till marriage because emotions can betray you girl <laughs> you find yourself giving your goodies before marriage so what charlotte did says that she used her african mindset of taking things slow not give her goodies just because this guy came to meet her she wanted to take things slow observe what was the intention of this guy or whatever we agreed on on the phone that he will do when he comes here if he will do those things so guys their first visit was to her family the parents were very very happy to see fabienne of course they had seen him on a video call but seeing him physically makes them very very happy because they know oh my god if this guy came for our daughter that means he is a serious guy it gives parents some kind of satisfaction so after that they started exploring ghana <laughs> moving from one city to another charlotte has shown fabienne different places in ghana took him to the market you know this local market and i'm so so happy of how fabienne is adapting to african life i've seen this through their instagram account of what they always share guys don't forget to go and follow them 
So they have really enjoyed their time together, took him to try some Ghanaian local food. I've also seen them in these, you know, the buses, these local buses that transports people from one place to another. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so so good. I know some white guys who comes to Africa, they stay in these big big hotels or they'll just go to Zanzibar and they don't want to move to see the real real African life. For me, I think it's bad. It's good for a man to see the life you are living. Live that life, know that you can survive, yes. <laughs> Tell a guy goes to Zanzibar, calls you to Zanzibar, you stay in Zanzibar, then he returns to his country, invite you, get married to you, then start treating you bad, tell you that Africa is bad, he took you from the mud, <laughs> you can't survive without him. How can I survive without you? I was surviving before you. <laughs> So it's good for a white guy that is coming to marry you, experience your real, real life. And that is love. <laughs> I know guys, it is very normal when you go to a new country to find some culture shocks. I know even Charlotte, when she goes to France, she will come across lots, lots of culture shocks. So I asked Charlotte, what are Fabienne's culture shocks in Ghana? <laughs> Let's laugh a bit. Number one, Fabienne's culture shocks is that in Ghana, you can talk to your elders using your left hand. <laughs> Even if you're left-handed, you can't. So for him, that's the culture shock. Second, Fabienne's culture shock are the roads. <laughs> <laughs> but that's normal that is our african life <laughs> culture shock number three he says people in ghana are very very nice ready to give a hand of help but when you look at them they look sad when charlotte told me this i really felt very bad because i know sometimes life can be so cruel life can be really really hard so that is why you will find some people unhappy and voila those are fabian's culture shocks in ghana so guys we go to a very important <laughs> important event that happened while fabian in ghana and before i tell you this event i'm talking to you ladies who are on online dating apps searching when a white guy tells you i am coming to see you you really need to know his intentions why is he coming to see you <laughs> this will help you to avoid future tears <laughs> why am i saying it will help you avoid future tears because if you start creating castles in your head about this guy he comes and doesn't achieve your dreams you are going to get hurt or the white guy comes you give your goodies imagining that everything will be fine this guy is gonna marry you he's gonna move the relationship to the next level and then end up not doing that it will really hurt you you are coming for what try to understand and if you can agree on something maybe i am coming we are going to work on your papers so that i can invite you to my country you see my life too then when he comes you see if he will do that if he doesn't do that immediately you know this guy is just a player wanted just african goodies <laughs> so guys to the event after two weeks of fabienne being in ghana you know guys while they were talking while they were in that long distance relationship they agreed that when Fabienne comes to Ghana, he is going to marry her. It will be for marriage so that Charlotte can join him in France. So guys, when Fabienne was ready to go to Ghana, some documents were not ready yet, which allows them to get married legally in Ghana. But still he had to travel to Ghana. So what they decided is to first get married traditionally so fabienne paid for the bride price he never said that it's not our culture no if you remember miri's husband no for fabienne he was okay to pay for the bride price 
he paid for the bride price and they got married traditionally in his two weeks in Ghana. Right now, he is still in Ghana waiting for the documents to come from France so that they can get married legally, you know, no legal marriage that is recognized in France. And then Charlotte starts the paperwork to join him in France as his wife. So guys, we see Fabienne is the man of actions. Yes, everything that they talked about, everything that he promised her, he put them into actions. He had to make sure that their relationship goes to the next level, which is getting married to her. Right now, they are husband and wife. Congratulations to you, Charlotte and Fabienne. Cheers. I know you beautiful ladies have been waiting for this. The name of the dating app where they met. <laughs> guys, they met on Tinder. Yes. Yes, guys. Charlotte was watching that series and the couple was saying they met on Tinder. So she was like, what is Tinder? Because she didn't know. Because she didn't know what even Tinder was. <laughs> So you see guys, you can find genuine love on Tinder. You only need to be patient and do the right thing. We have seen what Charlotte did after receiving his message to read and see if the guy is serious or not. So always do the right thing. You can find love in any kind of a dating app. Even if people are saying you can't find love there, but trust me, you will find love. So guys, her advice, pray to God, be patient, be real, be you, don't pretend. If you do that and then you come across a guy who is serious, he will love you forever. So dear friends, it is my hope you have enjoyed this beautiful love story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this story and learn something. Comment below what you think about this love story. Watch my other videos too. They are super good. You will learn a lot, a lot, a lot. Don't forget to subscribe. Please join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.